Well, I'm uh, one of the world artists. I work on the world art team, but I specialize in the oblivion, plain art, and uh, the lower class art. The stuff that's really dirty and dingy and sort of nasty, or the stuff that looks very deadly and scary and you know, somewhat demonic or evil. That seems to be comfor in my comfort zone. Uh, in a way that I can go do that stuff far easier than if they asked me to do anything that was nice and beautiful. This is basically showing an overview of what you'd expect a dungeon level to look like. So they're built on a grid system so that they have an exact fit and match and you won't see any seams. You know it's it's a lot like a Lego set in the way except you know far more complex and detailed. And then before you know it, you have this world that you created in your own mind that you can sort of experience and, and feel the atmosphere and sort of the dread and, and, and the scariness of it. This area is unique because it's a gas chamber. So as the player walks in, you know, this rock's going to come down and it's going to close behind them. Oh, somebody's updating. <laughs> Which means I have to wait for them to finish updating the file. It just sucks. <laughs> I mean, I live, I live a pretty normal life. I have a wife and, and two uh, daughters, so it's, it's very normal uh, for me. But they, they exist in that world with me, like they're exposed to the monsters and to the films and all the stuff that I have in the house. And I love the undead. <laughs> I try to use them as much as possible. Just bring in one of these guys, pop them down. And so like this one only has one arm. Or the other one has no head. I guess I'm sort of a a non-conventional sort of person, so that I've always uh, stayed away from the, you know, more conservative side of life. So I like the stuff that is far more, I guess, uh, less mainstream. So it wouldn't just follow this route along the path here, but maybe it would take this route, you know, and give it a little bit more lifelike behavior as far as uh, the direction it's going to travel. But also uh, give people questions as to why it's there and what it stands for, because that could be more interesting in what you read into it rather than the literal, you know, what your mind imagines sometimes is far cooler than what the reality is of, of situations. So hopefully that will explain some things in a way. 